Hi, welcome to our channel TrueUp. The lithography machine has received a lot of attention in the last two years, which is understandable given its importance in chip fabrication. The issue is that this equipment technology is quite behind in China, with a 10-year disparity between the world-class level. Many individuals feel that this is due to Chinese lithography equipment starting late. Is this true? You might be surprised to learn that China invented the first home lithography machine 57 years ago. The level of technology in China at the time was significantly lower than it is now, yet the first lithography machine in China was constructed as early as 1965, under the guidance of Chinese experts such as Qian Xu Essen. You may wonder why China, which was once a world leader in lithography machine manufacture, has been sanctioned by the US, putting local electronics businesses like Huawei in an unusual position. How long will it take to create the next sophisticated lithography equipment in China at the current level of technology? What is the significance of the lithography machine in China? Let's speak about all of these questions in this video. The technical level of all countries in the globe has greatly advanced since the turn of the century. China is as well. Whether it is aerospace or high-speed rail, China has achieved the pinnacle and, in some cases, exceeded industrialized countries. However, it should be highlighted that there are still numerous flaws in China's domestic semiconductor industry, and it is hard to totally eliminate reliance on foreign technology. China has swiftly boosted its investment and assistance for the semiconductor chip sector, particularly after the United States re-enacted the laws in 2020, allowing many local enterprises to commit themselves to related research and development activities. The chip is the fundamental embodiment of the semiconductor industry, which is of vital importance for a country's future growth, hence the country places considerable priority on this industry. However, there is an inherent problem in China that has always afflicted indigenous chips, a dearth of lithography equipment. A lithography machine is required for the manufacture of chips. Only four businesses in the world can manufacture lithography machines, China's Shanghai Microelectronics, Japan's Nikon and Canon, and the Netherlands' ASML. However, ASML has a monopoly in the mid to high-end lithography business, particularly for EUV lithography equipment used in the front-end process of chip production. As a result, lithography is a technology that must be solved in order for China to fully accomplish the aim of chip autonomy and self-sufficiency, otherwise, local chips will always be tough to climb. But, regrettably, the lithography machine's challenge is not minor. Furthermore, lithography machine precision is directly connected to chip manufacturing process, and only high-end lithography machines can match the production needs of advanced process chips. In other words, even if a low-end lithography machine can be created in China, raising the local chip to an advanced level at the same time is unachievable until the high-end lithography machine is defeated. Unfortunately, this situation is unlikely to occur in the near future because ASML, the world's only manufacturer capable of producing high-end lithography machines, once stated, even if we make the drawings available to the public, other companies or countries will be unable to build high-end lithography machines. Why is China so far behind in the production of lithography machines? China developed lithography technology as early as 57 years ago. China was leading the lithography machine market at the time, but a false concept quickly spread across the Chinese sector. This kind of thought was prevalent in the 1980s, it is better to purchase than to produce, and it is better to rent than to buy. Because developing a lithography machine from scratch not only takes a long time but also costs a lot of money, most individuals at the time thought it was preferable to buy or rent it from someone else rather than create it themselves. As a result, building costs will be decreased and the firm will be able to optimize its benefits. True, in the view of business people, the latter will invariably be preferred above manufacturing, after all, they prioritize their immediate interests. However, in terms of home technology, only items produced by yourself may be in your hands, because purchases and rents do not belong to them. Unfortunately, this was not widely recognized at the time. How long will it take to develop a lithography machine in China at the current level of technology? China's chip design is already on par with the best in the world. Alibaba Dharma Academy's high-performance AI reasoning chip Hanwang 800 outperforms the second-ranked NVIDIA T4 chip of the same type by 15 times. Huawei's Kuanping and Kirin chips are also among the finest in their respective classes. 
Chinese businesses are not inferior when it comes to creating application chips. The question is, even though the chip has been created, how will it be manufactured? SMIC is now the finest chipmaker in mainland China. However, in order to complete the production, SMIC requires the usage of a lithography machine, that is, if there is no lithography machine, SMIC cannot produce high-performance chips. Furthermore, high-performance semiconductors built by Chinese firms will never be mass-produced. The lithography machine is the most important instrument for limiting Chinese chip development. It is stated that building a world-class lithography machine is more difficult than building an atomic weapon. To be honest, it is correct. The lithography machine must execute a task at the nanoscale level. Accuracy is the most visible technological representation of a civilization. Humans witnessed an enormous square steel on the moon, according to the science fiction novel A Space Odyssey 2001. Whatever techniques are used to measure, the steel's length, breadth, and height are always 1 colon 4 colon 9. The capacity to manage minuscule things with such precision is described in the book as a type of showcase of civilization. We frequently watch science fiction movies, and the nanotechnology depicted in them is nothing more than precision. It is simple to construct a humanoid robot with current technology, but it is difficult to construct a robotic mosquito since it requires an all-around tiny version. And when you can make a robot the size of a cell, it becomes invincible. Today's technology competes not with who is larger, but with who is smaller. At the moment, the smallest scale unit is the nanometer. The lithography machine requires the most sophisticated nanotechnology available today. In other words, if China wants to create the most sophisticated nanolevel lithography machine, it must first reach the industrial level. What China needs to do is raise the whole level of the industry, not only manufacture lithography machines. When China's total industry reaches this level of technology, it will be able to produce more than only lithography machines. At the time, China could manufacture any of the world's most modern items. Is it difficult? Yes, of course. But China must act. Otherwise, China would be trapped in low-level industrial technology and will never be able to progress. Once finished, China's economic level will not only cross the threshold of developed countries, but will accelerate and become a highly developed country, with per capita GDP nearing or even exceeding that of the United States. Is it conceivable? Naturally, it is. China has plenty of talent, money, and sound industrial policy. Technology will always be mastered as long as the Chinese remain on their current course. I am bullish about China's prospects. This is not a hunch, but the outcome of careful consideration. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.